How's it going, everyone? Let's go ahead and talk about why dividends don't work. Reason number one, dividends are not free money. The company has to stunt their growth in order to give you dividends. They are sacrificing cash to give it to greedy, ugly men like you. Taking a look at Apple as an example over the years, I mean, just this past year, they paid out $15 billion in dividends. And the year prior, $14.8 billion in dividends. Oh, disgusting. Reason number two, the dividend is already factored into the stock price and total return potential. Because of that dividend, you will miss out on a greater total return. And let me tell you, the total return is all that matters when it comes to investing. And let me explain this one because I lost you already. Stay with me, Frank. If you buy one share of the cheeseburger company at $100 and it increases by 10% to $110 a share, your unrealized rate of return is 10%. $10. And the best part about this business is that the cheeseburger company does not pay a dividend because it's still in the growth phase of their life. Now, let's suppose you also buy one share of the Deli Pickle Company, which is also trading for about $100 a share. And the Deli Pickle Company pays you a $1 dividend. But instead of reinvesting the dividend, you keep it as passive income. As a consequence, the share price becomes $99 from $100 because of that $1 dividend. And let's assume the Deli Pickle Company also also grows by 10%. But because they paid you a dividend, their share price becomes $108.90. When you add in that $1 dividend that you got, then the total return becomes $109.90, which yields you 9.9% as a ROI. Your initial investment capital is the same in both examples, yet your total return on Deli Pickle Company is lower than your investment with the cheeseburger company who does not pay a dividend. Speaking of pickle and cheeseburgers, I'll tell you what, if In-N-Out or Whataburger ever decide to sponsor this channel, I would be stoked. And on that note, have you ever heard of Freddy's Steak Burgers? It's a burger chain that's famous in the Midwest and the East Coast. It kind of tastes like Five Guys, if I'm going to be honest. And the atmosphere that they provide is kind of like a diner from the 1950s. And here's a funny story that's actually true. I had the opportunity to be sponsored by Freddy's about a decade ago. Unfortunately, I I could not take them up on their offer because I just had too much going on at the time. Looking back, I wish I had the wisdom to partner up with a burger chain. <sighs> But it's all good. Reason number three, dividends are treated as income, whether they are qualified or not, which means you have to deal with taxes. What's the point of those distributions if it creates a taxable event? And because of those stinky dividends, you might even have a bigger tax burden. Reason number four, dividend-oriented stocks and index funds underperform growth stocks all day, every day. My shares of Tesla have the potential to go up by 40% in a single year, and sometimes up by 5% on a single day. You dividend investors are lucky to see a 5% dividend yield on a 365-day basis. What a waste of time. What are you doing? And here's the next reason. Dividends only serve a psychological benefit. It helps your fragile and weak ego to see cash flow pouring in to compensate for how short and ugly you are. You justify dividend investing because it feels good to have cash show up in your account on a regular and predictable basis. Unlike your wife's boyfriend, he comes and interrupts family dinner time whenever he feels like it. And because of that chaos, you like the fact that dividends happen on a scheduled basis. And here's the last reason as to why dividend investing is trash and a waste of everybody's time. It's the fact that dividends are not guaranteed. The board of directors and executive leadership must approve each dividend payment. They can choose to decrease or stop a dividend payment at any one of those top brass meetings. If CFO Jimmy decided to wake up cranky that day and throws a fit about the dividend, he could peer pressure everyone in that room to vote against the next dividend. Oh, you thought I was just joking. There's a dozen recent examples of companies cutting or freezing their dividends, such as Intel, Disney, AT&T, Ford, Boeing, Estee Lauder, and the list goes on and on. And to make matters worse, sometimes dividend paying companies will take out loans and go into debt in order to sustain their dividend. All because you want to be a princess and get a dividend, the company has to damage themselves financially. I hope you're real happy, pal. Dividends are so bad. With that said, Dividend Compounders with Cheese, signing out. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll talk to you next time.